This horrible incident happened when I was 15 years old. I had a doctor's appointment to check up on my arm, as I had sprained it a few weeks before. I had to remove my bandages that day, so I was sitting in the waiting room waiting for my turn to see the doctor. Then, I suddenly noticed a very tall guy in front of me. Maybe he was about six foot two. He had black hair and was a neat type with a clean shaven face and he was wearing a long black trench coat and baggy black tracksuit bottoms. It was obvious that he looked a bit odd, but I decided to ignore him as I was often easily paranoid to strangers. However, a strong smell instantly invaded my sense of smell when he just sat next to me. He smelt like he had something rotten hiding inside of his coat. It was so horrible to endure it and eventually made me feel sick to my stomach. I instantly got up, rushed to the toilet, and then I ended up throwing up. After cleaning myself up, I went back to the waiting room, and luckily that man was gone. My doctor was waiting for me at that time, so I went to her office, and she got my bandages removed. I told her about the man that I saw just before, and she said she'd seen him before too. She thought there was something off about him, but she eventually didn't say anything. Of course, I couldn't blame her, so I just greeted after that and then left the hospital. As I was coming out from the entrance and about to walk toward my home, I suddenly heard some heavy breathing in an alleyway next to the hospital. At first, I couldn't see clearly who it was because of the shadow, but soon after, I realized that he was the same man that I had seen in the waiting room. He didn't leave. What should I do? I was terrified. However, there was something strange about his motion, though. I looked more closely, and I could make out him biting on a severed arm. And that's when I realized that it was the source of the stench I smelled in the waiting room. I almost screamed, but held my breath as much as I could, and then ran down the road to call the police immediately. As soon as they arrived in about five to six minutes, they knocked him down on the ground to arrest him. I figured out later that he was finally indicted on charges of kidnap and murder of people. And because of that incident, I didn't go to the hospital and stayed at my home for a while. I wonder, what if I had screamed when I was there and he found me? Would I have been the next victim that he was chewing on? I think it was a good decision that I made at the time and I'm just glad that I'm still alive.